hello my sweet friends welcome to the art cake experience channel here's my my youtube channel my name is christina arevalo and thank you for being here i'm so happy you're here uh today i'm going to be making uh this one of these cute little owls actually it's going to be a little di bit different i made these two already for a cake that i will be decorating and i think they need a third friend and that's what we are going to be making today uh this is a new tutorial for my channel and please uh don't forget to subscribe and to hit that bell underneath like about here so you can get all the notifications of the upcoming tutorials and videos on uh, sugar paste uh, toppers cake decoration gelatin and much more so thank you for being here and let's do this let's make a new friend for these two hours Okay, so we have a styrofoam bowl. I'm just going to wet the bowl a little bit before we add the sugar paste. We're going to be making this with green and yellow sugar paste. It's going to be quite colorful, this little fella. So I rolled out a little bit of yellow sugar paste. I'm using this uh, golden yellow that I like because I think it would look good with the other uh, two tones of the blue and the green and the brown that we have here. And now we're just going to cover the styrofoam ball. It's the same size of the ball that I used for these two. So they will be more or less the same size, right? So I'm just going to glue it very well. With a little bit of water, you can also use some, uh, some fat like uh, Crisco or, um, you know, some fat in order to make it uh, glue together, the styrofoam and the, and the sugar paste. I just, I like to use just water. I'm going to leave a little bit of sugar paste here. Okay, so I can create some sort of a base for the owl, where the owl is going to be standing right so that way i'm just going to pressure here and round it with my hands so make sure you don't have any wrinkles in there and we have not it's not really a round shape it's more like a novel that you cut here so this way the owl was tan in there so i rolled out a little bit of green i like this uh light green color and the same yellow that i used for the body i'm going to cut uh this is about two and a half centimeters let me see uh diameter of let me just check this will be one two three four centimeters actually one two and a half uh, four centimeters round a cutter then i'm going to cut one green and then I'm going to use a flower cutter that will fit more or less in this one to cut one from the yellow one. This, oh, I'm sorry. This uh, owls is all about, as you can see it here, as you can see them, it's all about the texture that we're going to work later on the sugar paste. So you're going to use very simple cutters and very simple uh, tools the only thing we need to work on is the texture, which we'll do in a minute. So using my dressing tool that I think we all cake decorators love, we absolutely adore this one. It's really useful if you don't have it, get one. I'm going to create, with the pointy tip, I'm going to create some texture around the green circle. Because uh, this is going to be around the face of the owl right let's just create uh, some texture out as you can see I'm just pushing it out like this to create that texture on the borders of the circle that I cut I'm sorry if I'm moving the camera because I'm moving the table and uh, it's not my intention let's see okay good and I will do exactly the same with the flower because we don't want it to look like a flower. We just have, we just want it to have like a different shape than the circle, right? So you can see both uh, when we place it in the head, in the face of this 
owls. These owls are really fun and funny. <laughs> and I will show you later the result, uh, the picture of the cake, the whole cake decorated. It's gonna be a fun cake because of these three dudes. Okay. Okay, so we have the texture in both pieces now. Okay, so the first piece we're gonna apply is the green one. I'm just going to wet this, a small circle right here, and I'm not going to glue it fully. Like, I'm going to leave it, this texture, I'm going to leave it, let me show you. I'm going to leave a space here, okay, in order to create the face of the owl. And in this one, I'm going to leave the longest one, the longest part that I pushed out, I'm going to put it down here. It's going to be a very crazy owl. You'll see. You'll see in a minute. It's going to look very cute. Doesn't look like much now, but it's going to look cute. Now with a small ball tool, I'm going to create some uh, pattern around the owl to give texture to the body. I'm going to, as you can see, I started in the middle and then I'm going in round pattern around this first circle or this first indentation that I made because that way I'm creating a rounded pattern on the owl. And it visually it helps create the fact of a round body. Okay, just keep going. I'm going to leave the front without any textures for now. So you will see what we will do later in there. So I'm going to do this and I'm gonna show you how this looks at the end. So now we have all the texture around the body of the owl and with the dresden tool, I'm going to create sort of this texture here, but I'm going to start from middle out. So it will give the idea of this like feather front, right? In front of the owl. It's little feathers, right? Okay, and I'm going to do the same towards the other side here. Okay, good. And in the middle, I'm just going to bring them down. This texture makes a whole difference. And if you want to exaggerate a few of these markings, just go ahead because it will give a stronger texture to the owl. As you can see there, good, very good. So to create the wings of the owl, I'm going to take a little ball of uh, green sugar paste and just press it, rolling it out thinner in one of the sides like a teardrop shape like this, but a little rounded one. Okay. Now using, I find out that I found out that by using a blade from an X-Acto knife, you can make a very uh, lean and clean cut of a long, in this case, this is a long piece, right? So that way, if, if I use my pizza roller like this one to cut, I will be bringing the paste with me. Or if I use a smaller um, X-Acto knife, I could be uh, making some indentations and some markings that I don't want. So that way I can cut it in half perfectly well and I don't damage the piece. Now I'm just going to press this a little bit and take just a bit of the yellow sugar paste Roll it out in a small sausage, not too thick. Maybe this will do for both uh, wings. Now I will cut it in half. Let me just use this one again. You could be using a, a smaller X-Acto knife, right? And make a stripe like right here and right here. You know, it looks like nothing, but it's gonna look good in just one minute. Let me just press it 
and press it here. Now we're going to glue these wings into our owl. Just press here. And here. Here and here, there you go. And now we will be making uh, our own texture. Okay. Okay, now using again the, um, the dressing tool, the pointy part, I'm going to create the texture of the wings. So I'm just going to be bringing this down here like this. So you see how the yellow is mixing now with the green? So it looks like it has like two shades of the color in its wings and the same to the other side as well. Okay, one wing is done. Let's do the next one. Okay, let's mix it up here and there. Good. And now to the other side as well. Let me just take it out of the base. There you go. I just, okay, organize this here. Perfect. If you lose a little bit of the texture, just go back and redo it. Because we've been, we have been touching this a lot. Okay, so here are the wings and uh, the base of the face then. Now the eyes and you will see the owl come alive. Now for the eyes, I'm going to be using a round, a uh, big round tool just to create the holes where the eyes are going to be, right there. Okay, the eyes are probably gonna come out of the sockets, but you will have a guide of where they will be. I keep messing the texture of this over and over again. Okay. Okay, so I have two balls of white sugar paste this eyes this one is not going to have such a big big eyes as the other two just to make him different okay and i'm going to place these two balls here on their on the indentations that we make on the sockets that we made good now i'm going to take a little bit of blue sugar paste it's going to have blue eyes blue sugar paste and black sugar paste to make the eyes. Okay, so I made these two little balls of this peacock blue. Since it has a little bit of green in it, I decided to use this one. And this one, his eyes are going to be uh, towards the middle of the face, looking up. Right? So I'm just going to add a little bit of water and I'm going to place the two, oops, the two little balls in there, press it, and press it again. Now I'm going to cut a little piece of this black one to make uh, the iris of the eye. So using a small X-Acto knife, I'm going to take just a bit, okay, and place it here. Whoops, let me just pick it. Okay, here in the middle. And using the round tool, just going to press it there. Because that way you can see a little bit of the blue and a little bit of the black. Take a little bit more. This is quite small. I lost it. It's right here. 
I'll take a bigger one. This is a problem with the small little balls. And it's gonna go right here where I'm going to press it with the round tool. Okay, very good. And now I'm going to take just a tiny bit of white. Let me just get it here. Just a tiny bit of white, but like nothing, guys, okay? Nothing. This, this nothing. And I'm going to add a white dot right here in both eyes, right? Okay. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe I can make it up closer. There you go. Make it closer so you will see all the details in there. Just place it here and there you go. Okay, good. Now it looks weird right now, but it's going to look great in just a minute. Now I'm going to take some of the yellow uh, because it's the last color that we use, the same color of the background of her face, of its face. Let's start calling her, maybe it's a she. I'm gonna make, a, I'm gonna roll a sausage here. Place it on top of her eyes. I don't want her to look mad. Not like that. So I'm just going to bring this down. Okay. And I'm also going to push this backwards so she doesn't look mad. Okay, I'm just gonna blend this to the back. That will that way you have like the upper lid of the eye, but it, if I leave it like that, see, if I leave it like that, she will look like she, I'm gonna hurt, she's a she. <laughs> it's gonna look like she's mad, but if I push this down and blend it with the background, is now it just looks like an upper lip, an upper lip now, <laughs> the upper lid of the eye. Okay. And I'm going to make some markings here as well. Good. And I'm going to give her, because I already decided it's a her, also just divide this in two. And underneath, underneath the eyes, I'm also going to place a little bit of paste, right? That I'm going to first blend here in the middle mm -hmm. and uh, here on the sides as well, just blended. I'm going to mark this lower lid, eyelid here, okay, if I leave it like this, she would look like, like she hasn't slept in days, <laughs> but now I'm just going to create a little bit of fur or feathers here with this part. Okay, good. Now she's missing her little beak that we're going to make in a second. With a little bit of orange sugar paste, I'm gonna create a ball, then press it just to create a small teardrop that I'm going to place right here in the middle. And then with a very small ball tool, I'm just going to create the holes of her nose. Just gonna make it really thin here. Okay. 
okay and i think she needs lashes so we're going to give her a little black lash here on the top of her eyes i rolled out beforehand this uh small piece of white white black uh, sugar paste and we're going to create some definition by adding her lashes good and finally i think she needs some eyebrows they don't really have eyebrows it's this little thing here on top with a different colors so i'm going to roll out some green just to make contrast with the yellow that we have in the back i think this is big i'm just gonna uh, make two smaller bowls and I'm going to add add it here on the top of her head like this here this here bring this down and maybe a little bit of yellow also but i'm going to create just one and i'm going to place in the middle and now i'm just going to press here and here we go we have a very colorful owl oh let me just bring her face up i just said she looks like a sheen doesn't she and it looks like a parrot, <laughs> but it's cute, isn't she? Together with the friends, we're going to see them together. So here we have the family of the three owls, these three crazy owls that we have right here. Uh, I hope you like her and <laughs> you like them. I think they're really funny. Uh, hope you liked this tutorial. Hope you liked this video. And if you ever make one of my uh, little projects, just tag me and show it to me in any of my social media i would love to see them thank you so much for watching thank you for being here i hope you liked it and take care and stay creative guys bye bye thank you